jumpers up high. Woohoo! That's what I've learned. Is Twitch from working there? Twitch has no protection on anything. Yeah. So everything's good. It's a sham. I could probably get fired for saying Same, that. Given the uh, secret tech. <laughs> yeah, telling everybody that there's actually nothing there. <laughs> the whole company's a sham. Yeah. Pretty much. I tell people that all the time about my job. Higher education's a sham. Don't do it. Well, yours is more true than mine. <laughs> Okay, this ad supports Twitch. Like, literally every ad supports Twitch, so right. I don't know why they don't say this. Do, do, do. Not seeing it actually live yet in the feed. Definitely live here. Yep. Uh, I don't know, I didn't... I waited. It just takes oh. a second. This would be awesome if someone goes rewatches this and sees all this. That's fine. We're good at this. Right. We're pros. He is. I don't, I don't even know what a computer is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure that we can get our archives showing. Yep, there they go. Ninth seat is hanging out in the chat, and there we are. Cool. Sweet. Um, one more, and good one to go. Time. Sweet. Okay. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we're going to be doing a live deck build today. So today you came and you said you had some uh, crazy idea yeah. about what we wanted to do. So if you've watched others of these, or if you haven't, you know, we talked last time I was on, we talked about the idea of this as EDH, right? Or as 40 card commander. Yes. And that gave me some interesting ideas, right? And uh, obviously I drew attention in the last draft by second picking uh, Narset. Um, and then third picking Karn and just going for what I wanted immediately and doing some very different things than what other people had done in previous drafts. I'll pull up the, the list from last time since that is particularly interesting. Yeah. So here we go. That's, here's the VRD2. Yeah, so I am pick one with the Lotus and then I grabbed Narset on the wheel. I had the wheel for two and three. I picked the two cards I wanted to be the backbone of my deck and kind of went from there, right? Um, but anyway, so I've been, last time we've kind of discussed, you know, are there... Other thinking of that EDH vein, are there other formats that we haven't thought of, right? Like uh, I've talked about Enchantress, uh, kind of Enchanter, and I was kind of brewing that, and that's originally what I was thinking I was going to do, but I just, I never got anywhere I wanted to get. I thought of kind of a blue-green tempo deck, but I just didn't think it wasn't anything that the Infect list, which is the second column there, didn't do better, right? Uh, it was basically fish with Infect. Um, so I guess you're just going through lists, right? And I started thinking about, okay, well, 40-card EDH, and, you know, some lists just pan out, don't pan out because you can't reliably get what would be the commander. But then I started thinking about just older decks, and I was looking at modern, and I started thinking about one of my favorite decks from Extended, Ooh. which was All in Red, right? So All in okay. Red was a list that based around rituals. And what you would do is it ran Chrome Mox, and it ran four Seething Songs, which get you five mana for three, it ran Pry Pyretic Ritual. No, no Rakdos Pit Dragon. Oh, this is before? This would go in... No, this Rakdos Pit Dragon was before it, but this was after it because it was better. Okay. You often hit five mana on your rituals on turn one, and you would cast a Deus of Calamity. Oh, okay. I remember this Or list. you would cast a Demigod of Revenge. And Demigod of Revenge is a 5-4 flying haste creature. Right. And it was particularly cool because if there were any other Demigods in the graveyard, they came back into play. And there was a counter trick you could do. If someone didn't know how it worked, they could get a gotcha moment because they would counter the spell and you'd be like, okay, now my trigger resolves and I get the Demigod you just countered back. Right. Um, it, the deck went away after Path to Exile was created. <laughs> sure. So the deck was pretty good, and then Path to Exile. It would also sometimes not to get to five, and it would just turn one Blood Moon. Right. Um, and, but, uh, or turn one uh, Magus of the Moon with a GTA. Sure. Um, and it, it also ran one uh, Empty the Warrens for, because it could just storm up into Empty. So I started thinking about rituals, right? And I was like, okay, well, you don't have the redundancy, but you're a 40-card list, so I don't need the redundancy of all those rituals. Yeah. Right? Now, obviously, I don't want to be relying on those rituals just to get up to, like, a Days of Calamity. So, like, what is interesting that I could ritual up to in big, right? Um, and looking at modern lists, there's been a list running around. It's basically Ball Lightning Tribal. <laughs> and it runs Ball Lightning, obviously. Uh, the classic Ball Lightning, which is your 6-1 Trample Haste for 3, and it dies at the end of turn. Let's get the, let's get the real art of right. that card. The old school. There we go. Right. And Summon then, Ball Lightning. 
it also runs skeleton. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is it Skeleton King? It's skeleton no, it's not something. Skeleton King. It's Skelem Skelemental. Skelemental. Oh god. Skelemental. Lightning Skelemental. Lightning Skelemental. Yes. So, <laughs> or what I effectively call ball lightning. Sure. Right. Um. So this is the list I want to build. Right. There are now. Remember, this is a twenty card, for, 20, 20 life format. Yep. Right. Um, we've talked previously, like, can burn really get there? Can burn efficiently? Let's see. Well, burn, one of the issues is that the damage is smaller, right? right. So, well, what happens when we're throwing 6 1 trample hastes, right? That is reasonable. A lot of people aren't, don't pack that much removal. Yes. Like, the deck with path, yeah, that's going to hurt you. Or occasionally there might be a few decks that might have an answer. But, like, well, what was, does this list look like, right? So, ball, lightning, tribal, what do we got? So we're just pausing you for a second. We actually yeah. built, um, we built burn live on stream and just okay. kind of like talked through what that would look like. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's talk through what burn would look like. So with burn, you had you had a lot of focus on a lot of cards. So for burn, you're going to end up playing a lot of cards no one else wants. Like oh, in, this deck too. In in italics here, you can see all the cards that we think somebody might actually want to take away from you. Bolt. So course. bolt light at the stage theoretically. Yeah. Ilana the Great Revel. Um, I don't want, yeah, possibly. And, like, that was it. And then maybe Blood Moon. Like, then, then the Land Destruction But we already talked about Blood Moon's real... bad. Yeah, exactly. Um, Chain Lightning did take picks. So these were all the things that saw picks. And the, the only deck Blood Moon would have stopped last time would have been Elaine. Yes. Because she went very in on the duels. So with that in mind, the only cards you could possibly need to take in the first 20 picks are those four. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you have all of these other things that you could hope to get in the first 10. Like right. Mox, Mox Ruby, Mox Pearl, mm -hmm. and then the, the land destruction package if you wanted to go that route. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you're just wide open, and you can start taking fetch lands on pick three with without any problems. Right. Like you're not losing anything by taking fetch lands on pick three. Absolutely. So that that was the advantage of this list. And then you get to like just take the hate that you know people are going to take against you because you need to make sure you have a warmth and a chill out of the game. Yeah. Because somebody will take that in pick twentieth if you haven't taken it already yet. Yeah. Or black if you if they if they well and we'll talk about that with this list too because I have some of that same idea like yeah. for this list if someone's in mono black you want to grab a um, knight of souls betrayal early because it's a list that would just sure it's a you know it minus one minus one to all creatures it would just why would that... Enchantment, because you're six ones. Oh, Most of your list is six fair. ones, right? I mean... There's also the uh, there's also the five mana version of this, the curse of something But yeah, I am less scared of the five mana curse than the four mana. Sure. You know? I mean, you could take both. If, if, Plague Engineer seems real bad against Pl you. Plague Engineer, has gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Like, Plague Engineer, the and in, and the original um, Engineer oh, Plague. yes. Yeah, like, you've... <laughs> if there's a mono black, like you've got to take those, and but you have the picks. I don't because this isn't going to be. You're going to have a handful of sideboard cards that you can bring in for like blue hate, uh, yep. boil something like that. And but other than that, you know I've got a list and it's 25 card or 26 cards because you're only going to run 14 lands. Right. And so yeah, my problem with this list was basically like it seems great, it will kill people, but there's not a lot of play to it, right? You don't have a lot of strategy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just hope people don't think about the good hate cards. Right. Um, and the payoff is, like, best case scenario, you end up with a 8 out of 10 deck. Worst case scenario, you end up with a 6 out of 10 deck. So it's just, like, not a big range. Um, so it's not that interesting to me, okay. despite it being pretty good. Well, let's see what this looks like. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to just, like, start? What are the categories? Broadly, All right, things so we've got our ball lightnings. Yep. Right. we got our tribal. <laughs> That makes sense. All right. So that's going to be our big one. Uh, and there's a couple saucy new cards that really helped us out. Right? Yep. One saucy new card that really helps us out. We've got our rituals. Yep. And then we've got our planeswalkers, or our chandras is what we're going to call them, <laughs> effectively. <laughs> nice. I love it. So uh, one of the things that came from All in Red, obviously, was sometimes you're ending up with, you know, Koth. a turn one or two, big, big, which I think Koth would be another good option, too. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, like, well, what if I end up with six man on turn two to end up with like a Chandra Inferno, the new Chandra? That's uh, the new one. Okay. The new big, the new mythic one. Is it Chandra Kama Inferno? Kama, yeah. Okay. Always Kama. <laughs> Awakened, Awakened Inferno. Inferno. So she's an uncounterable. She That's gives an big. emblem that get, does a damage every turn to them. Uh, she can wipe the board of non elementals. Dear and God. she can also just wipe out do damage to a player or, or is it creature is it just creature or is a player too? Creature and planes with creature, creature, creature. She, planes she can just remove. Dear God, right. just that plus two alone. So, so let's just start with our three Chandras actually. Oh my I think. God. So Chandra Awakened Inferno is I think one of your in game pieces that you can build up to, right? Okay. 
Awakened Inferno. Right. That card is ludicrous. Uh, like, Chandra, Torch of Defiance, the four drop. Sure. I think Chandra, Torch of Defiance, like, turn one is pretty sick, right? Because she gives you more mana, turn two. She allows you to ramp. Yep. She, or she allows you just to start basically effectively drawing cards and doing damage to them. Okay. So uh, this is actually, I, I've got a local who plays a, a really sweet red-black prison list in Legacy. Yes. And yes. It Is this will, Jamie? Uh, no, it's not Jamie. It's a guy uh, by the name of Buck. Oh, uh, Jeremy okay. Buckingham. Nice. So he goes by Buck. Um, and he's a pretty good legacy player, and his list is done pretty well, and he will turn one or two Chandra Torture Defiance, and then it just ser- serves as an engine behind That's Chalice right. and Engineering Bridge and things like that, right? Sure. All, and those cards are obviously really tough because right. you only have one copy in this format, right. and you can't reliably end up in a prison deck. Right. Like and people then, have tried stacks over and over, and it just fails. Uh, the third one is Chandra Acolyte of Flame. This is the new one as this well. This is the right? new one. This is the three drop. And this one I think is going to be really central to the deck and maybe even the most important to the actual. Really? Well, the others are high-end finisher types. Yeah. I think this makes the deck hum when she comes out, right? Gotcha. So one, she just creates two elementals that attack and go away. Or she pluses herself. Or she pluses her or other Chandras, right? Okay, sure. But the third ability, I think, is the underrated one in here. Um, the ability to buy back a... Either, which could be a ritual or a couple other spells that we're going to have, right? But she doesn't like cast it for free. She just lets you, you have to pay cast for it, it, but she lets okay. you cast it, right? But buy back a lightning element or buy back a lightning bolt, um, buy back a blightning, okay. which we're going to run. Yep. Right. Um, or a card that I think is really saucy in here, and I went more of buy back either an unearth or a reanimate. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that is saucy. So are you going to call that burn or discard? Like, um, are, do we have categories or both? Uh, the, actually, I, I, my original list, I was thinking you would have Discord. No, we don't have categories for both. So, okay. um, And then the other is, we're just going to call utility spells. Sure. So, okay. So, are there any other Chandra's in here? Should Koth nope, make that it. list or no? I think Koth could. I, and Koth could. I think Koth definitely in the board could, could play in there. I think Koth definitely could make this list. I think Koth would be good. What about the other six mana Chandra? Isn't the, what's the other one that makes two, three, <sighs> ones every turn? I thought about that. Uh, I, she does more of what you already do. I think she does more of what you already do, but I also think it's just like you don't want to water down with too many of the, those big ones, right? Sure. Like just you're going to be sticking to the plan. I mean, like, if you get up to six, you could also just like double ball lightning turn one and hit him for twelve. Fair. If you somehow ritualed up to six, so that'd be a god hand. I mean, because you get you don't have the redundancy. But yeah, that's actually fair. So and that's going to be the, the question play pattern here, right? right? Or, or, turn two, you cast a four drop is kind of the idea. I ultimately, yeah. I mean, okay. turn one, three drop, turn two, four drop. I think is your okay. average good hand. You okay, know, your average hand. And okay, so in in the rituals, then uh, are we ready to yeah. jump over yeah, rituals? Yeah, so let's talk rituals, right? So, uh, so the question right, here is, how many is too many, right? They were red, black. You said I thought about dark ritual. I ended up cutting it out. Oh, okay. Because I didn't need the triple black. I, it could come back in, right? I don't. Sure. Um, so we're, I, I'm just being right. a modern storm player. Right. I'm just going to list all the ones that we have there, which right. are mo- desperate, pyretic, desperate, pyretic, uh, and then metamorphose. Metamorphose. Yeah, draw your Does card. that do anything for us? It does if you're off of the black mana for a skeletal, okay. uh, for lightning skeletal. Yep. It gives you the black. That seems reasonable. Um, Seething Song. Oh, that's right. That card's not banned. How yep. about that? And then the one I'm currently questioning on is Rite of Flame. It's just a one for two. I mean, you don't have the other rights. Rite of Flame is strictly better than either Desperate or Pyretic. Right. So, so. it's one mana for two. Um, for two. So, I mean, at that, at that point, right, you're going from one to two. All of these cards ramp up one mana other than Seeding Song, which mm-hmm. ramps up two. So, at that point, I assume Simeon Spirit Guide would make this list as well. Simeon, I do not have on here, but I have a question mark, question mark spot, and it can it's easily the same go into thing. the list. Right. And, and, and the, this is going to be more than enough cards, right? And we can figure it out. But yeah, um, Simeon. And Simeon also gives you the ability to just drop as a creature later. You know? Fair. Yeah, if you really have to. Yeah. I guess the only downside would be that you can't flash it back with Chandra Acolyte. But right. But still, I mean, it, it's um, still a pitch. Would Chrome Mox make this list? Chrome Mox is on my list. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what other... And then, and mock, preferably the Red Mox. But you, I think sure. for your first round pick, you want a Mox. Yeah. I don't even think, I mean, obviously Lotus is, you know, great, but you're, you're yeah. probably going to be a spot that you can get a Mox. You prefer red, but I think black would work. And, I mean, any color would probably just be okay. Because, I mean, if you drop Mountain Mox, you can still catch a Ritual turn one. Definitely. So it doesn't matter what color it is. So the only, so at this point, um, are you imagining this has somewhere between seats four and eight? Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you're in the top three seats, yeah. this is I mean, I, you can't assume, like I had last time, you get going to have the first pick. <laughs> right, <know>? of course. <laughs> Okay, so somewhere in the second back half of right. the draft. That's actually interesting. All the decks I've been thinking of have been good back half of the drafts. Yeah. I, I think it's interesting to think about what's the first three seats, right? And that, that'll be kind of 
maybe oath or something something right. blue obviously but like what what are the first the first seat's weird but the yeah. second and second and third seat is like very clearly you have to be in blue yeah so i don't know interesting um okay so any other rituals that that no. that even you consider let's say somebody snipes one of yours <sighs> i looked through i mean i looked i talked looked at uh, you, priest you, of herbrask okay I mean, that's, just replaces three mana for free. So, yeah, three three mana for free. I think you'd rather have the Elvish Spirit Guide than that, right? Just start going for off color. Yeah, pro- I think so. Um, I looked at uh, the one that you have to sack Infernal Plunge. You sack a creature for it. Oh, okay. And at that point, you could go for the black one as well. Right, but I mean, the issue with that is you're gonna you'd be sacking the creature second main because most of your creatures are gonna go away. Oh, sure. Right, and then but then you sack a second main unless you're catching a planeswalker off of it. It doesn't do much. Right, you can go cobalt if you really want to. That's a different deck though. All right. Um, I think Geo Surge at four mana for seven mana, but that can only catch artifacts and creatures. So I think bad. that's too much. Yeah. yeah. Um, Blazing Ritual. What the hell is that? I don't even know. Is that? I've never heard of that. Blazing may be a made up card. Uh, what is? Is that real? Nope. Blazing Ritual does not okay. exist. That's... <laughs> Actually, let's just search a ritual. Yeah. Let's rifle and see what else comes up. Brightstone ritual. If you want to go Gabos. Yeah. 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 I'm not going Gabos. That one was out. Yeah. I mean, this this is I think plenty. It was more of just like a right. exercise. Um, what is the name of that? The one mana that adds four black, but you have to sack a creature. It's it's one of those classic cards that sees play in uh, Spanish. I didn't think about Cabal ritual. Yeah. So Cabal ritual. If you're going into the black side right. as well. But I just the list ended up not having as much black, so that I think Infernal Plunge is also just like so far away right, from being yeah. playable. Okay, so those are the rituals, right? Um, and you're thinking like probably this this many are what we're looking at. Um, so yeah, I was looking at that many about. All right, then like these three and then, probably. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was, so I was thinking fourteen lands. You got enough rituals, you might be able to skim down to thirteen. Sure. But it, you know, um, I don't. You know, you don't want to go too risky. Um, it's actually a good call. Let's get some land in here. And then I think similar to the red list, I, I mean, there's not a lot people are going to be grabbing. I mean, early on, you can right. get the fetches and go for those fetches early on, and um, you know, kind of thin your deck down that way, uh, and also take them away from other people. Yeah, no, that seems it seems very easy to do that. So right. far, like Mox Ruby, Chrome Mox, and nothing else on this list right. is moderately playable. Yeah. Maybe Manamorphose if somebody ends up in Storm. Right. But yeah, nothing else. Like, there's two cards so far that people are actually going to care about. Right. You know, bad lands, you obviously want to grab. That's fair. So, fetches, bad lands. Um, and then, like, the red, shock. Red, black shock. Yeah. Graven Carns. Okay. I mean, there's yeah. no reason not to. Yeah, I think at that point, we're kind of just in generically, like, now you're in this yeah. deck kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Uh, cool. All right. So let's go for the one, ball, the lightning. So there's a couple of levels of lightnings here, right? So ball lightning is, of course. Ball lightning is the top one, right? It's the old OG. It's, it's actually not even the best one, though. No, it's not. The but skeletal it's the is, is the best. Right. Skeletal. Lightning. Skeletal. Right. Um, Incredibly hard to spell. Yeah. It's all made yeah, up. Yeah, let's try this next one. Skizix. Oh, okay. Okay. I know this one. Skizix. Is it at Z Z. I K. Yeah. Now, actually, it's, drop Skizik down a little bit because uh, that's uh, I, that's a five three. We need to come back to Skizik. So drop it down like four slots. I want to okay. get all the one drop one, it, ones down first, the one toughness ones because that's going to be important for some tech. Okay, so Skizik costs four, um, five three the hits. Okay, so then are we going to go for the like the three the three power ones too? Or is uh, that yes, we're going okay. uh, the uh, both uh, Spark Elemental. Yep. And. Uh, Hellspark Elemental. Hell, uh, Hellspark Elemental. Yep. As a burn player who used to play Spark Elemental before uh, whatever Swift Sphere was printed, mm-hmm. I fully appreciate this. Does Vexing Devil make the cut? Uh, Vexing is interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, and that might actually make it over this next one, Arc Runner. Arc Runner, oh, that that's not, not good. Yeah. But it's still a three. I mean, there wasn't just not, there wasn't a lot of people dropping one drops. If you drop True. a, you know, it's still a five, one, three hasty. Yeah, three three mana is a lot though. Yeah, like at that point you've spent what two cards to build yourself a better lightning bolt. Is it that's a question more just because it doesn't have trample? Right. Um, let's see what are these? Uh, let me get the right ones here. 
I definitely have seen Arc Runner. I don't think I've ever actually seen it in play. Though. I, 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 I've seen it in Limited, but... I have not even done that. But I did not play. This is the year before I came back to Magic, so... Blistering Firecat. That card is great. Yes. That one... So this one's got offered you some flex, right? This card was the menace of my local FNM back when <laughs> I was in middle school. So it's a bigger one, right? Yeah. And you can play it for Morph, though, and hold on to it, and then... Um, Flip it yes. later on for the for the punch through, or attack with it and flip it. I mean, obviously, if they if they know they're they're going to see what you drafted, so it's not going to be a surprise. Sure, but uh, it's still um, it still can beat for right. two for a couple turns. Then okay. once it stops, you start beating down. One more, so drop Skizix one more because yep. we got one more here, and then I'll get to the it's some interesting stuff. Because uh, I, I want this one card at the bottom of the list. Uh, Runaway Steam can not not one. So then, how we're getting to the two techs that are going to work very well with these. Runaway Steamkin. I like this. Right. So this is, is this wall lightning you're going to call it that? No, this is, uh, we actually put this in utility. But I want it here because I wanted to note that it has a one power or one toughness. Oh, this one doesn't have one toughness, you mean, right? It does. I wanted oh. to note that it has one toughness because the next card is going to play off of the one toughness. Theme okay. For those. So Runaway Steamkin is obviously um, a, dr uh, a major player in standard right now. Yep. And in this deck, it's really another ritual, right? It just gets bigger. Oh, and that's huge. Okay. then you can just top that mana to drop your Chandra or whatever. Oh, right. just calling out right now, Hyphenated just pointed out, Calling of the Week is the card we were talking about ages ago. Sorry about that, okay. Hyphen. I, I, I didn't see your message until right now. All right. But yeah, Calling of the Week was a... It's. I mean, if, you, uh, if, if you're a Spanish Inquisition player, a.k.a. somebody of fine tastes, you will recognize this card oh, immediately. Yeah, yeah. It, is a, it is a classic. Um, I don't think you need it in here, but it's a good card. Definitely not. Yeah, you don't have the you don't you have right. nothing to sack so far. Right. Like nothing on this list I want to sack right. before attacking. Yeah, it, it could cast your Chandra's set turn two. Like you know, you could attack, it gets through, but again, I think that's it's not worth the. It seems deck real card. bad. Right. Okay, so now the tech, now the sweet tech before we get to some bigger things. Uh, this is a new card. I don't know if you're aware of it. Oh, this is only one of two cards printed with type mana source. The other one I know has to be. Uh, it's Dark Ritual, right? Yeah, like, Dark Ritual had Mana Source. One of, the, one of them did. I thought there were more than that, though. I thought there were green cards that said Mana Source on them. I don't know. Huh. Those are those weird middle printings. <laughs> yeah. It was literally just for just for those Tempest block. But yeah, good call. All right. So here's the card that makes this deck hum. Okay. Type it, no, type it over here first. I want to pull it up in the search. Oh, you want to have secrets. Okay, go for it. Thunderkin. Thunderkin. Awakener. Awakener. Okay. This is a new card. Yes. And this card makes this deck wild. Oh, I've seen this card in standard. Okay. Mm -hmm. It attacks. It's a haste, and it attacks, and it gets back a one any of your one toughness ball lightnings. And it puts them into play, tap attacking. attacking. Jeez, that is sick. Yeah. How is this not? I mean, is Skelemental? This is what the, not the, the, I told you. The modern deck. Skelemental is not. Uh, is not. It's the modern okay. masters. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. modern deck is running this to buy back Skelemental and the ball lightnings, right? But wow. the modern deck doesn't get to cast a turn one ball lightning off rituals. Right. Hit them for six. Attack this turn two. That's a swing with this, get back a ball lightning, 13 damage on turn two. And you can do that over and over Every too. time. If they don't kill it, it just keeps coming back. Wow. Yeah, this is dirty. Yeah. Because there's, there's not that many creatures, right? Like there's not. don't play creatures. And at least not early ones, right? Like the, the green black deck plays them. A few of them play it. but yeah, And but it's an attack trigger. It doesn't have to do damage, right? Right. So it's swinging. Jeez, I mean, you do have to have the card in the graveyard first, so you probably like. But you turn two, make a make a ball lightning. Turn three, cast this guy. In but I mean, how many times are you going to have Mox one ritual, Mox land one ritual, or Chrome Mox land one ritual, or Rite of Flame one ritual? You can often do a turn that's one true. ball lightning. I mean, that's this deck is built around the premise that you can generally get three mana. I would say forty percent of the time, get three mana on turn one. Okay, that's. That seems or at least too long to me. Or at least two mana to spark elemental or hell spark elemental, right? Or one sure. for spark. Okay, that's fair. Or two for hell, or is hell, two, hell spark still one? Hell spark's two. Okay, or two hell, for hell two, spark. but unearths for two, I right. think, as well. Wow, okay, that's sick. Okay, I'm on board with this. Right. Um, unearth is. Okay, un unearth or, one gets unearth gets it. goes away. Yeah, yeah, right. you can't throw it back but to the yard. Speaking of unearth, under utility, we're putting unearth. <laughs> okay, that is cute. Which, by the way, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, can buy back. Yeah. So you can get two unearths off of it. Wow. That's strong. Right? We're also putting Reanimate under Utility. Okay. Reanimate's great. Because you can also hit their yard. Yep. 
and you're going to play fashion through your life. No one's the goal is to be faster than them anyway. Yeah. So life life doesn't really matter in this right. format anyway. So you're going to put those in there as well. To, Every animated art is interesting. Oh, the new one. Yeah. I don't hate it. Okay, and then our big our big papas. So our corner is the question mark, right? And that's good because we need we have some question mark slots because we have lightning bolt under our utility. Yeah, of course. Right. Which and we I actually would like another burn spell, so I think we cut arc runner for another burn spell of some type. Right. Sure, like chain lightning. Right. Um, and I have a, a question mark question mark question mark slot that could be basically anything. Yeah. Out, out of the twenty six cards. Okay. Um. Hell's thunder. Hell's thunder. Okay, that's. That is another ball lightning, right? It's a bigger ball lightning in a way. So three mana for a four four. Flying. Okay. Based. All right. All right. Not horrible. And then I mean, you. And then and then unearth. Three mana for four damage is not great, but the, with the right. unearth, I can get behind it. So like, there's so few cards that you're fighting for with this deck, right. though. And then thunder blast. Thunder Blust. Mm -hmm. I, I always think that card is called Thunder Bluff. But I've not played this card ever. I've only seen it. Okay, so this one doesn't die on its own. It comes back. It right. persists back. It persists back with Trample. Right. Interesting. Okay. So also a pretty good reanimate target then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay. I mean, at this point, you're getting to a pretty big curve, right? right. You're, not, you're not a small deck, right? Like, maybe turn two, you cast your three drop. Mm -hmm. Turn four, you cast Which is why I don't want to too much, challenge. right? Yeah. You know, I mean, because you do have your rituals, but you're going to run out of them, right? So you're um, thinking 14, 14 lines with that? I was thinking 14. Yeah. 14, you know, 15. 14 with the mox and the chrome mox. Sure. Oh, fair. Okay. Yeah. This is assuming you get a mox. You're going to get chrome mox. You're you going to get, yeah, you're going to get chrome mox easy because you're going to take it like third pick. Yeah. So I think 14 with mox and with a mox, chrome mox in the rights and, okay. and the rituals. So are there any cards, like, let's jump back over to the archives a minute. Mm -hmm. Are there any cards on here that you would want? Like, Soul Ring? I, mean, I thought about Soul Ring? Ring. Yeah, I thought about that. I'm sketchy on Strip Mine and Wasteland simply because of the triple reds, right? Yeah, fair. I, yeah, I don't think you can play the right. mana base. I think that you have to leave that to burn if you want to screw around with that. Yeah. Um, like, Soul Ring feels like it could make the cut. Yeah, Soul Ring, I think Soul Ring could make the cut. I mean, it doesn't do... It, it helps with your rituals, it helps with the walkers, it doesn't do... It helps with some of these other big, odd ones, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Soul Ring is definitely on my list as, as a possible make the cut. Let's jump over to Jesse Hampton's list. I think it was Jesse Hampton that... No, jo Josh Ventura. They mm -hmm. ran, um, that ran this red, red-white burn right. list back in the day. So Vexing Devil, I think, is one that could be argued for Gorilla right. Shaman. Girl Shaman, I think, is a pick. You want it, you'll want you put it in your board Yeah. Uh, for the artifact decks. So, yeah, let's drop Gorilla Shaman over to the uh, utility section. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think that, the, like, the cool thing here is that there's a ton of sideboard picks that right. you have. Uh, Boil. Boil, of course, yeah. Really, at that point, you're just like, what are all the great... Right. Um, like, what are all the great, like, boiling seas, too, right? Uh, which one kills all the planes? Flash fires. Flash fire? Red pyro blast. Yeah. A red elemental blast. Is it flash fire? Flash fires. Okay. Yeah. And is it boiling ocean? Boiling sea? Boiling something? Boiling, boiling seas. seas. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't um, boil just do that at instant speed? Boil does do that at instant speed, but okay. why not too? Why not? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's mono blue. You know? Yeah, exactly. So pyro blast. Yeah. Reb. Reb. Yeah. Actually, we're gonna make our own category for hate yeah. here. This is and Gorilla really Shaman cute. goes in there too. Yeah. Um, and at that point, you have like lots of good red cards. Yeah, I mean, any everything. number of artifact hate cards. Um, uh, Hyphen says Soul Ring went crazy late in y'all's draft. It should go with some mock. Yeah, so if people forgot about Soul Ring. Um, I don't. So in draft two, actually, um, here, let me just hit archives here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think it went so crazy in draft two. Two it went like mid second round I want to say. Um, yeah in, in two I think it wasn't horrible but yeah in draft one it went abysmally late. It should not have been where it was. Um, so if we jump over here to draft one Soul Ring went to Oh my. Wow. Fourth round? Yeah that's, that's wild. Soul Ring went there in fourth round and it went second round in here. But yeah, I don't know. I think Soul Ring's fine. I don't know. 
I think so. I think it's good. I mean, I think it's generally good. I mean, I, I Brent should have taken it over Tinker, but Tinker didn't do it. You know, I mean, Brent should have done a lot of things. So. Oh, I think I take Tinker over Soul Ring every day. Well, not his deck. <laughs> it didn't. Well, not his de- deck ended up being. If he had stuck with his original plan, sure. I, I don't think Brent had an original. Right. What about plan? Dark Confidant? Like over Dark Confidant? Uh, well, let's jump back to VRD one where I drafted Dark Confidant and see. Uh, I took Bob fifth pick. Okay. okay, so yeah, well after Soul Ring, yeah, but I mean, Vant I mean, went higher. At least in my mono black deck that topped out at four, right? I would not have taken. I would not have taken Soul Ring. Mm. Speaking of topping out at cost, that's another good uh, card that could be good in this deck. Pyrostatic Pillar. Yeah. Okay. So and also Eidolon as long as there. You put those under Actually, wait, wait, Which one's Pillar? Wait, uh, is, Pyrostatic Pillar is Eidolon as an it, enchantment. It's higher, right? No, no, it's just straight up the same thing. No, I mean, but I, I, I can't remember. Whether, do those do higher or lower? It is or lower. Or, oh, lower. No, we don't want that then. We we want one. We don't want to punish low because we have low. Yeah. No. I don't know of anything that hits. I was thinking they. I thought they punished higher, but no, we don't want to do that. Teague. Teague is probably the closest right. that I can think of. But yeah, Meek yeah, Stone. That would kill us with our rituals. <laughs> Meek Stone to let their creatures not untap. Uh, and then the other possibility actually uh, is, I mean, if you hit the right chain of rituals um, or with buyback of rituals from the Chandra, you could run um, a, or at least in the board for the Storm player, you grab and empty the Warrens quite early. Okay. And I did, oh, think, of, I did think of Yogg's Yog, Yog, too. Yeah. Yogg's will. So you grab and empty the Warrens before the Storm player can because they're only going to take what you're taking anyway. And then if they go to storm off, you can do it. And you actually have a decent storm count yourself on, on, on certain hands. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But yeah, I think Yogg's Will has to make the cut. Here. I think Yogg's Will makes the cut. I think that's early, and I think we probably that goes in that question mark slot. Yeah. Like, I really do like... Because, I mean, you have so much stuff in your yard, and assuming that you actually are running all these rituals. Mm-hmm. So are there any rituals we're missing? Because it feels like... It feels like we have a lot of rituals, but we want more. There's not. There's really? There's that's not. That's really disappointing. I mean, the, the other decks run them because they're running four of each, you know. Yeah. But that I mean, a, but Caleb, Caleb Schur actually predicted that that was what Modern Horizons would give for Storm, mm-hmm. is that it would give us one new ritual, like just literally a straight copy of not pyretic ritual. Right. But yeah, they, Modern Horizons gave nothing to Storm other than the Islet, which they play one of now. Um, but I mean, I think the thing, you, you do kind of know the ritual in Steamkin. True. Right. True. So I mean, the thing is on the rituals, I think, is that you're, you're going to hit your other lands too. Um, and that's maybe what this is missing is some draw, but if you, you know, because once you hit three lands... So, like, does light up the stage? Does that make the cut? Light's interesting. I like light. That's good. I didn't consider that one. Like, it's just really good to be able to draw two extra cards. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, and then you can also buy it back with the Chandra to, you know... Sure. To get out two more. And I think that, I think light's actually really good. I think that... Because, yeah, you're never going to not have spectacle. Right. Um, okay, so as long as we're in that world, then isn't there another card that kind of built up counters the same way as uh, as Runaway Steamkin? I'm sure there is, but I don't know that you get mana off of them. That's that's fair. Anyone say anything in chat there? No, no. Um, there is. Uh, oh man, what is the scars? So, I mean, I think you could cut Hell's Thunder. I mean, that is a nice four-four flying for three. But I mean, if you if you wanted to run something extra for card draw, you could cut Hell's Thunder and get another. Or actually, we are, we definitely cut Fire Cat, or not Fire Cat, Arc Runner. Okay. Arc Runner's gone. cut, right. Okay, so let's actually add up where, where we are right, right now. So we have these four. Um, we have, you like all of these? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have these five, so that's nine. Nine. Then we have, plus these eight, gets us 17, 17 20, 20. 20 there. 25. 25. So then one card, so light up the stage. All right. So that's 26, right. and then 14, 14 lands, lands of yeah. some kind. That seems reasonable. Yeah. I do um, like, I, I, I think Koth is definitely not bad. I mean, because Koth does hit as its own, you know, makes a land into a hitter. It does. And uh, but um, I still like Will here. Yeah. I, I don't know what you I like, like the Chandra for my theme, though. <laughs> and I think they're all really good in this deck. I, I think, because don't forget, Torch of Defiance adds mana. So if yes. you stick a turn one Torch, you're getting two free mana every turn. Yeah. Or getting cards off of her. Yeah, Torch I think is insane. Yeah. Awakened Inferno has like, insane payout, but... It's the big. It's so the, it, expensive. It is. It's a question. I think you grab Koth, and then if your Awakening Inferno is not working, you just jump Koth in that spot. That's fair. You know. Yeah, get tried out a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I do still want to make space for the talk monster will, but okay. So, are there anything? Is there anything else that like you wish you could take from other people? 
Uh, I, I thought about, uh, you know, I, th I did think about Dark Root and him to Torok in my, when I was thinking about this, you know, going that kind of route of more. But as I was doing it, I was just running out of. Yeah, now you know, you're in cards. a triple red, right. double black deck. Yeah, I don't want to be that bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's the, I mean. Demonic Tutor, all your cards do the same things. So that doesn't help all that much. No. Top. <laughs> Top. Wheel. Wheel. That'd be a good one. Because, I mean, you are going to en yeah. empty your hand. Yeah. Take wheel early. Yep. Yeah, yeah wheel, definitely. I didn't thought about that. That's good. And then are, there's other there's other red wheels, I think, as well. But I can't right. think of any off the top I of mean, I, you, you're not going to go too deep on them. No. You know. So let's see. What else is there here? Oddly. Oddly? Was it? No, no, Pack rat. <laughs> no way. I don't... Ooh. I don't think it would be horrible in this deck. Hyphen has a great idea, which is to play Fire Blast. I, Fire, Fire Blast was on the list of, of spells. Yeah, for, if, if you're gonna, if you want another burn spell, Fire Blast is definitely. So that's kind of like the like the other side thing here is like how much of a how much do you want to go in on the strategy versus being just more like a burn deck, right? Right. Well, like, I mean, I, I I think you can get a little of both. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the idea, as I said, is I'm gonna come up with something saucy. I think this is. I think this would pound down a lot of the decks I played. You I know? agree. I mean. Unless they're oathing up something really, really quick. I mean, how do you deal with, like, turn one ball lightning, unearth, you know, <laughs> unearth that same ball lightning right. into skeletal, right? Um, so I did the, have... We must have picked something else up. I did have Blightning on my list. Uh, oh, okay. Fair, yeah. Um, so let's get Blightning done here as well. Yeah. I mean, I think... I don't know. This, this might go against your theme for your EDH nonsense, but I think that, like, some of these cards probably should be Hellsgunner's question. I think Hellsgunner. I, I mean, I, I think you want a good amount of those, right? Because that's I the... Agree. But I think Hellsgunner like is the... four toughness right. card? I don't know. Right. It's still three mana. So, I mean, it's still three mana hasty, so it, it fits the idea. Um, and it, it is only two red and one, so that's a little nicer. Yep, um, true. It's flying. But like, and it has an earth, so it gets well, to come back. Tough. That's the other one. Oh, yeah, no, I right. think Hellsgunner is... So, so, so Skithrix was pull up Skithrix again. Uh, Skith Skizix, yeah. Skith Skithrix. I actually thought about Skithrix in this deck as well. <laughs> He's his own type of uh, special yeah. lightning. I'm not putting Packrat in your list. No. <laughs> um, so Skizix, five three. Hold on, that's that's not the art that we all we all know. We need to get back to the original. Okay, so five three. If you pay kicker, it doesn't go away. Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, it does the job. Um, you can't buy that's it back. True. There's not that many three power creatures. If right. You, like, let's jump back over to the archives and see. Like, at least in the top half of this, I mean, Vince would just dominate your face. Like, you can never beat this Vin Vince's deck. I think Vince's deck was real bad, and still, just like, it preys on decks like this yeah, one. What is he doing? That, what is he doing that beats me? I don't know. I'm playing like, Sigarda. <laughs> play any creature. <laughs> I'm not afraid of voice. I'm not afraid, <laughs> I trample over that. I, I'm afraid of his path and his sword. Yeah. Uh, you know when I. I mean, he can beast within my 6-1 trample. That's fine. I'll take the 3-3. Three, three. Eldrazi Displacer. Okay, yeah, well, that I'm scared of. That. <laughs> but, like, I mean, I trample over a lot of those. I'll, yeah, I'll kill his creature and trample over. Ooh, Blade Splicer's real bad for you. <laughs> Blade Splicer's rough. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about people with first strike creatures. <laughs> yeah. Somebody plays, yeah, a 1-1 one, one first strike. Right. Skizix is so expensive, I don't see how it's worth it here. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think Steven's going a little deep on that, on his, uh, his old-fashioned yeah. right now. Uh, th this card is right. just like... Well, yeah, I mean, but that's, that, again, this is, that's why it's a builder deck, right? Because, yeah, you guys point out the idiocy of my... Uh, so, yeah, so cut Skizix and... Because, like, here's my thinking, right? It's like, you can have Skizix or Koth. Right. And no, right that's now, right. No, as, I think you're as, right. As right now, I think you're like... Right. You cut Skizix and then you play Koth. Uh, well, or Wheel. Or Wheel. Or, or, or yeah, you, yeah, you get you get Wheel. You get the, you're getting more inevitability that way. It's the yeah. right, you're just the 100% right call. Thank you, whoever, you know. Uh, Typhon. Thank you, Hyphen, because I won't listen to Mark, but I'll listen to you, Mark, <laughs> that I've never met. But. Yeah, random person on the internet wins out. Yeah. Arc Runner, thank God, maybe they yeah. got rid of. I was just, four, I literally five, six, pulled up someone's after I came up with this idea. I came up with the idea first, and then I typed Ball Lightning Tribal, and <laughs> found someone's Ball Lightning Tribal EDH you list, won. and went through and read all of their... Uh... So yeah, we're still at 26 so right just, now. You can rip Arc Runner off, just delete that. That should have never been in the list. It doesn't have Trample, so it should have never made the list anyway. Reasonable. I'll move it down to the bottom here. Yeah. <laughs> Firecat in and Thunderblast. Oh yeah, in, though, so Thunder Firecat, I'm totally with. And Thunderblast is yeah, at four even at four mana, it's just Thunder seven and two. Awakener is also sweet. Yeah, no Awakener, 
that. All right. So what's the counter hate? You mentioned uh, engineered flag. Oh god, yeah. Uh, you mentioned plague engineer, which <laughs> yeah, is this, god, this just literally I, awful. I, I hate you wizards. <laughs> yeah. Though I love that card. It's saucy. <laughs> they are. They're great at their puns. And actually, plague engineer is not bad for your deck anyway. Uh, you you can bring it in against elves and stuff. That's fair. Yeah. So like you you've got black. So neither of those cards can actually come in on your own out of mm-hmm. a board for someone on like Thopter combo. That's fair. On like Urza Thopter combo. Okay, cool. Your Thopters never do anything. Exactly. Or uh, I think both those cards are actually saucy counter picks because you can use them. That's fair. Um, you said curse, not the curse. What's yeah. the Night of Souls betrayal? Night of Souls betrayal. Anything else? This is your... not my get deck, by the way, for the next one. Though I'm really tempted. Know. I'm really know. tempted. It's 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 cute. <laughs> I, th- I think it might be. We'll have to see. Yeah. Um, Watch, you're going to take seventh pick, and you're just like, well, I have to go for this ball lightning <laughs> deck. On, Let me pull up my list here. <laughs> pull up my list. Pull up the last stream. I'm doing it. <laughs> so many third picks in Night of Souls Betrayal just to hate you yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like Night of Souls Betrayal. What else is here? Um, Cop Red. <laughs> Cop Red. <laughs> And I only say that because I'm the type of bad person that would take cop red. <laughs> you know? I think the circle of protections are not horrible. I mean, do you give any thought to the rest in peace? Ooh, yeah, I would like hate. I, I would hate pissed, yeah, leyline and rip. I would, actually leyline's a great uh, early. That's actually fair. Pick anyway for others because again you can take it. Yeah. Right. You can so you take leyline Ley early because that's going to go. When, when did it go? Our last draft it went. Oh, it was relatively top early. Top ten. Still. Let's see. Our first ley line went oh, actually, 20th. Went pretty far. Yeah. And that was that was the only ley line people took. Yeah. Nobody took you, sanctity. I guarantee you can get away without taking the sanctity though. Yeah. Because you, I'm I'm not burning them to their face. Right. That much. Yeah. Oath went 20th pick. That's just shameful. And Brent played it. Played Oath in a deck that had Deathbrite Shaman. Yeah. He beat me, he beat me once with it. Get well, he hit Blightsteel, the only creature I cared about. He apparently didn't win the match. <laughs> he did not. No, he did not. <laughs> he could not beat a. Um, uh, Ashiok. <laughs> Fair. Okay, so is, I mean, do you take Bob? Bob seems sweet in your deck. I mean, Bob's fine. I, it would be interesting. Again, you're not going to care about life. I, I think I could go. So like that's kind of in that draw right. camp. If I play Bob, I'm not probably not playing the Chandra, playing the Koth. Yeah. I mean, Dark Confidant is in this weird spot where it has somehow been like the first card picked, first creature picked in like three of the last four VRDs. Elaine lost it because of me, or lost it bit, me because of it. Nice. She flipped like a five and a six. <laughs> that's that's just bad luck, though. Yeah. I don't know. I will play Bob on a deck with fifteen drops and have no problem whatsoever. Um. But yeah. Okay. So anything else? Anything else that jumps out at you as like this must make the cut? Because no. if I'm you right now, I think I don't even know. I don't know what I cut. Let's look at. But like, there's so many good cards that you're not playing. Again, it's it's funny because I mean, I, yeah, I think that there are my take similar to the EDH. We didn't say this, side, but I think that I go into it saying that I have to play like X amount of vintage playable good cards. Yes, I'm forcing some synergies and overlooking lots of viable decks, right? Because you treat it like something different. That's fair. So you know, if I can get a a good deck that's going to do what I want to do, and I think gives me a really good chance of winning out, and doesn't have to compete. I'm happy with that, right? Like, I'll take some of the cards earlier, they, like that ley line play, right? That's yeah. sexy. Um, you know, it's going to be useful to me. But then, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I do. I just think that if they go in, like, going, oh, this is vintage, so I have to play X amount of vintage cards. Right. Right. I think you're really cutting off a lot of the potential of the format. That's right. And the cool. richness of it. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, okay, so are there any... Uh, the what's the double red land like? Whatever the surprise and scary equivalent is. What about barbarian ring? Oh, that's fair. I don't even remember what that one does. But <laughs> not surprising cove, surprise and scary. So like, there's a red version of this card. I'm not gonna try to find it right now. No. But there's the one that enters the battlefield tapped, and then you can tap it for double red twice. I don't want to. I don't want anything that enters the battlefield tapped. Okay. And that's probably why barbarian ring would be out, but it at least gives you some late game stuff. What does Ring do again? Okay. Ring, if you have Threshold, you can sack it to deal damage to, okay. to a player. Okay. Yeah. Or, I mean, I guess you could hit a creature too, but why would you? Right. Yeah, you can tap it to shock something and sack it. Okay. You had to sack it. And you had to sack something. I just Sandstone Needle. Man. Hy- hyphen is just coming through. 
They are a fountain of cards. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, Sandstone Needle. I, I don't know. I mean, it comes into play tap, but if you play turn one, yeah. do you get to just, like, slam a five drop? Your map will sleep soon. Is it? Oh, my battery's dying. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> you, you just uh, freestyle for a little yeah. bit. So yeah, I mean, but that that really goes to what I was saying. I mean, I think that's a kind of a core philosophy for me. There is this um, idea that there are so many things that we leave on the table if we just force the "Hey, we're playing vintage" ideology. Um, you know, there are those decks, and those decks are great. You might be in competition for those decks, but um, yeah, the deck I'm going to play in the next one. It's going to have some of those cards, and I'm going to be compete for those cards. But after that, I I I'm confident this deck can I can win first place with this deck. I think it's an amazing deck. Um, but it's you know again it's not all in on the vintage. I think like this idea, as I said, came from thinking about what to do with rituals, and then looking at the modern list, running ball lightning and lightning skeletal, and I was like, hey, I think that's really good. Um, I think there's plenty that you can farm in legacy and modern uh, decks because again of the 40 card format aspect that you know it, it's it's just different so you can kind of farm those particularly if there's spells that you or you can get redundancy on like ball lightnings right i can't run four ball lightnings but i can run many versions of ball lightning so yeah i think finding finding the redundancies is huge yeah. right so you just got to like just like you said, right? You can't find four ofs, so you have to find cards that exist in more copies. Right, two or three ofs, you know, if you want it to be core to your uh, Coming Louis. from Missouri? Yeah. St. Louis piss water. What? Budweiser is delicious nectar of the gods. I don't think they're sponsoring us, dude. <laughs> uh, they've offered. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I love Budweiser. They have not offered. I am obviously lying, but... I will accept their response. This stream is not represented by Budweiser or any company therein. True, but it is Budweiser is delicious, and I'd highly recommend. You and the rest of America. <laughs> Every person. Okay, call into the week. Uh, okay, yeah, so High Fife and Google the other ones. They're admitting uh -huh. that they, they may not have any full lexicon <laughs> in their mind. But calling is a, is a solid one. Okay. Yeah, so I like that. Uh, any spoilers or tips about what the next one is i could be your opponent so no no okay no. can't give it away no um yeah i don't know I'm, I'm like teasing around uh i i don't know who i don't know off the top of my head who our full list of players are but i know we have we have eight players one backup what's the weekend again uh, august 25 okay. so august 25 we're going to be doing the next one of these we have a full set of eight players one backup and we have uh so eight players, one backup, two two commentators, and then two logistics people helping out as well. Nice. So it's going to be like, we're going to have cards printed live, right on the fly. It's going to be way easier than last time. Last cool. time we had, had to scramble. I, I put it on my counter, but I just applied for an event as a judge. I wanted to make sure that I didn't <laughs> cross list it. That's funny. Um, yeah, no, but that, that's kind of where... So, so now here's the next question. Now that we have affiliate for Twitch affiliate status, mm -hmm. it means we can accept donations, we can have subscribers, uh, we can have subscriber emotes. So yeah. we're allowed currently one emote, um, just because we're obviously just starting. Uh, but what would that... What would the emote be? My, my first thoughts go to for good pick and bad pick. I think bad pick. Bad no, pick. No one wants to emote good that's pick. That's true. Right? Like, you want to call out... Like when I made that <laughs> Narset pick and someone was like, who is this guy? By yeah. the way, the, the record supported it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, who is the, what is going on here, right? Or like half of uh, <laughs> Brent's deck. You know, I, you know, that bad pick emote is much more fun than good pick. You know? I totally agree with you. So, yeah, your record kind of supports it, but you didn't take first. I Maybe if you took Narset tie. later. Tie. Uh, you took second place? Yeah. Second place. Yeah, second place. Um, but yeah, okay, so I lost the first place and I beat third place. I, yeah, it seems natural. Yeah, and and second, first place lost to third place and uh, <laughs> beat second place. So you know who's going to be one of our commentators? Who? Eric Levine. Nice. We're going to have the Raging Levine Raging himself. Levine. He's good on commentary. Yes, he's really good. So it's going to be him and Alex Worth are going to oh, be nice. the two nice. that oh, are Alex in the booth. Is, Alex, is, Alex, is, Alex, Alex is shenanigans. That will be interesting. He is a character. I, I hope he brings the man bun back just for this one event. But... Um, Bitter Blossom's another card I thought about, actually. Oh, okay. So if you're on Bitter Blossom, you have to run Calling of the Week, because the people demand it. <laughs> but Bitter Blossom, just to give you an extra little bit of inevitability. Sure. You know. Uh, we're going to put that in a ball lightning, because it's kind of close. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, sort of not. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, okay, that's reasonable. 
There's just like so many extra picks you have, and mm-hmm. I have no idea what you spend them on. I don't know. I guess just hate, hate. everything. Yeah, yeah, just hate. Like shenanigans, uh, whatever the new shatter I is. I take shenanigans anyway. Yeah, I a mean, braid. Yeah. Um, and but even like early picks, just hate uh, other people's like formats, right? Like since someone takes Tinker, I just hate Blight Steel just to say no. You know. That's sweet. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah, as soon as somebody takes like, they they grab um, grindstone and you just grab painter the next yeah. pick. They grab they grab <laughs> they grab sword of the meek. I grabbed her down. By the way, foil sword of the meek up to fifty bucks. That's dumb because of Urza. Um, That's clearly silly. That list is really good. That modern list, dude. Uh, but yeah, like they grab sword. I grab Thopter foundry. Just screw you. you they know? grab fast bond. You grab Zuran orb. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I grab Zuran orb anyway. Screw that. I'll let them gain life. <laughs> Zuran orb seems very bad for you. Uh, red light line would be another sideboard pick. Uh, original, the, the new one, in, the original one. In case there's a life gain deck, I don't know. You never know. People may be salty like me and try to figure out. So the new one also doesn't that do something for I don't you? Know. What does the new one do? Whenever it at least one permanent. Oh control. no, it doesn't do anything at all. No one's targeting me. <laughs> yeah. Ley line of lightning. How do I not know any of these cards? Because only the black ley lines had three reprints. This card's bad too. Every other ley, yeah, every other ley line, they keep trying to figure out like the good one. I think they finally figured out the good one, the green one. Finally, this new one's pretty sweet. Fair. Because it gives in. The white stuff. one's really good too. Yeah. Sanctity's insane. Well, they, 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 that's why it's had two reprints, right? Yeah. They, they, each time they're like, okay, well, we're gonna finally figure out. They figured out blue. They figured out re, uh, green. Is blue anticipation? Yeah. Always. Okay. And then uh, second, no, the, the first blue was uh, different. Okay. It was singularity. Oh yeah, Meek was so bad. Yeah. They figured out why they 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 they've had three green ones and they've had three red ones, so they have not figured out like the the sweet spot. So the green one now is all your creatures are land or elves. D- no, it, oh. it, it, have, it have some additional, but it also gives you this late in late game thing. Okay. Since you're already rampant anyway, you can you know tap for asinine amounts of mana. Late not game. good enough. That card's bad. It's pretty sick. Seems bad. In the standard, at least. I don't know about that, <laughs> but. Okay. Um. Uh, so what should we be doing for the next one, right? So I'm working on more, like, technical stuff. Um, I want to get... A better computer. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. That's we'll not going to happen, We'll though. test it out. Yeah. I'll bring it over beforehand. We'll give it a go for yep. another, another one. Um, so let, let's actually... We, now that we have this deck kind of ironed out, what do you... What are you looking to metagame against? Right, you talked about kind of the standard decks. All right. So the ones that like, Time Vault, all in. Time Vault is one of them, right? Right. Um. Uh. So Time Vault, in fact. Oh, speaking of that, Null Rod is a. Oh yeah. Early pick. I don't. Other than my mocks, I don't. Ca- the mocks I just don't care. Yeah. So I take a Null Rod. That's fair. Time Vault, in fact, Reanimator. Right. I, I mean, I expect Reanimator to be back after it did so well the first it, yeah, time. It yeah, it won the whole tournament. So. Right. Reanimator. Uh, so, yeah, so Time Vault, uh, unless they get the combo, I feel pretty good against that. You yep. know. Um, in fact, we're going to race and it's going to be ugly. Yep. Um, they've got the counter spell. That's probably still iffy, you know? Um, Reanimator, it depends. They're going to spend a lot of life, yep. and they may get a big fatty that just it depends on what they're reanimated and how quick they get. You know? Iona seems real bad for you. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad. Uh, so I think it depends on what they reanimate and how quick how quick they get it, right? Yep. Twin, I'm fine. I, I, yeah, I'm just racing them. They yeah, some counters. it's a counter spell deck. Right. Um, elves could happen. Yeah. Elves There's just like happen. so many freaking decks out there. Yeah. Super friends. Okay. I mean, again, I mean, it works last time. Someone may take it. Yeah. Go more all in than I did on it. You yep. know, it actually is on my list of considerations that I didn't have. You're just kind of two card Monty, right? So yeah. Like... Two card Monty. <laughs> it was two card Monty super friends. So you already have your strategy set up for the painter grindstone deck and like all of those two card combo decks is that you just get to stop them from existing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're going for it. Unless they're on the wheel and take them together, you know. So like Splinter Twin, Time Vault, both have outs against you. Right. They, they can't really be counterpicked. Right. Painter grindstone certainly can. Um... What are the other like great two card combos? Actually, let's just go look at Stephen Hagen's list from last <laughs> time and see what uh, see what other sweet combos there are because I mean, all of them were in your deck. I had Narset Box. Yep. And Narset.